Splat marked a turning point. Until Book 7 one could believe that Eins is a good guy. He saved Karen. He arranged the Swords of Darkness by reducing Clementine to freshly pressed orange juice. And he also saved the Lizardman from certain death. By holding back his stronger forces and by listening to cool couch Kukaitis. He even resurrected their leaders later. And last but not least he allowed Sabas to be and to be one with Tsuare. Flaying the eight fingers metaphorically by letting his minions doing much worse things to them in reality. So Eins has to be truly justice, right? If you ignore the treatment of those Zuckerberg lookalikes, you could still tell yourself that Eins is kinda like a good guy struggling to keep evil Nazarick in check. But everything changed when Book 7 came out. And while you could still blame the death of Arche on Demiurge's plans, it becomes harder and harder to deny that Eins is not a shining hero in dark armor, but completely indifferent to most human lives at best. This realization has a name and a sound. Splat. After casting his spell, after unleashing the dark young upon an army of unwilling subscripts, after watching how his lambs annihilate soldier after soldier, Everyone had to realize that Eins may be the protagonist of the books. But he's not your isekai hero. Eins could have stopped this at any time. But he didn't. Even worse, he didn't care for those 70,000 insta-dead people, of all of those who were splatted into oblivion shortly after. He celebrated his record-breaking achievement of summoning five dark young at once by letting a shaken imperial army sheer for the splattening as it was happening. Eins made a statement to the kingdom, the empire, and to the audience. Nazarek is everything. Human lives are worth nothing. Splat also marked a different shift. The end of the royal army heralded the birth of a new chapter in Eins's life. Rather than reacting to his NPC's actions, he started to act according to his own desires. After the Splatfest Eins truly became an overlord, he planned the future of Irantel, repopulated destroyed villages in his domain. He had chosen that the society he would create would be a utopian one, where all races could live and serve him together. Eins also recreated the adventurer guild on his own beliefs on how adventurers should be. And while he tried to force these wishes into reality, Eins discovered the potential use of the Dwarven Kingdom. Eins connected the dots on how Runecraft could benefit his domain by himself, and he subdued dragons and other lower life forms in pursuit of his own goals. Splat marked a turning point, where no one, no matter how delusional, could simply think of Eins as a good guy, who at least tried to align the goals of Nazarick with his remaining regard for humanity. With every impact a dark young made, it became ever clearer that Eins had fully transcended humanity. He's no more man trapped in an inhumane body. He truly is undead. With memories of his past life clinging onto bare bones, Brimming with dark, arcane wisdom, he's an overlord now, and he started to act like one. And that's where the fun part begins. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you liked my kind and innocent laugh, and I hope to see you all again soon. Over and out.